Salve a tutti amici di Comics Reporter e Fumetto Mania. Oggi per la nostra consueta intervista abbiamo un ospite veramente illustre, veramente famoso e molto apprezzato in Italia. Abbiamo con noi Mark Chiarello, artista, editor, colorista, art director, vincitore di molti premi, insomma, lo conosciamo abbastanza bene. Welcome, Mark. Hi, thanks for inviting me. Mark, con- cominciamo dall'ultimo tuo lavoro. Vogliamo parlare eh, del, del volume di Baseball 100. Ultimamente hai pubblicato attraverso la piattaforma Kickstarter il volume mh, Baseball 100. Eh, tra l'altro è andato immediatamente sold out. Puoi parlarci di come è com'è nata l'idea di questo progetto, per favore? Sure. Um, I'm, I'm a very big baseball fan. I know... Not so much in Italy, but in America, we're all big baseball fans. And um, I had done a book years ago about um, the old Negro Leagues where where black Americans were not allowed to play with, you know, in the major leagues. And it was something I was very proud of. And uh, I wanted to do another book about all of baseball, white baseball players, black baseball players. Um, So I, you know, because I had the job at DC Comics for years, I never was able to do much of my own illustration because I had the full-time job as art director. So what I would do is after work, I would come home and draw one baseball player. So over the course of five years, I had drawn 100 baseball players and I thought, well, what am I going to do with these drawings? And I figured, well, let's put them in a book. And it came out two months ago and I was very happy with the way it, it came out. Benissimo, andiamo avanti con la seconda domanda. Eh, questa volta la domanda viene posta dal pubblico esattamente da Filippo Conte che ci chiede sei stato l'ideatore di Batman Black and White, come sei riuscito a coinvolgere tutti quei grandi artisti? Well, it was kind of a funny project because I had just started at DC years ago and... Um, You know, when you're the new employee, they never let you do anything because you're the new kid. Um, And I kept pitching this project to the big boss who was then, Paul Levitz was then the big boss of DC Comics. I wanted to do, uh, you know, I figured, well, Batman is the most popular comic book character. People love short stories. Um, Let's do it in black and white so it looks kind of different and you can really play into the film noir aspect of the character. Um, so I, I, I pitched it to Paul Levitz a hundred times, time after time, and he kept saying no. And then one day he said, okay, you can finally do that project. And I was, by that point, I had put a list together of all the great artists who I wanted to work with. And there was a really a dream list. And I, I called or, or faxed or texted every one of them on my list And they all said, yes, it was, I was amazed. Uh, Jose Munoz, Jose Garcia Lopez, Jim Lee, everybody said, yes, it was really, it was really great. Um, and uh, uh, it was, it was so much fun because in those days, if I can tell a quick story in those days, now, now when you work, you draw your pages and you scan them in and you, and you email them or put them on a server. You don't have to send in the artwork. But in those days, 25 years ago, you'd send in the original artwork to the editor. If you were the artist, you send it in. So I would get pages, um, my my co-editor, Scott Peterson, and I would get pages from these incredibly talented, you you know, your artistic heroes, Alex Toth and Joe Kubert and John Buscema, all these guys and gals. Um, Barry Smith. Yeah, yeah, the, that great cover he did, you know, and we'd get the artwork in and we'd go running up and down the hall showing this great artwork to everybody. That was a re- that's one thing I missed when things eventually went completely digital was you don't get to hold the artwork anymore. Benissimo. Cambiamo domanda. Fra le tue esperienze hai, hai sei stato un, il famoso colorista per la serie di Mike Mignola, Hellboy. Il pubblico ti ricorda per quei colori magnifici e spettacolari. Puoi parlarci appunto della tua esperienza come colorista sulla prima miniserie di Hellboy, per favore? Grazie. 
that was really incredibly enjoyable. Um, I'm a real big fan of Mike's work, Mike Mignola's work, as is everybody. He's a genius. He's, he's just a brilliant, brilliant artist. Um, and we were friends. We were good friends. And I had colored uh, a few things he did for Marvel. He drew a Wolverine graphic novel that Walt Simonson wrote. And Mike asked me to color it. I was doing a little coloring at that time. And Mike asked me to color that. And we had such a good time that he, he lived in my neighborhood in New York, in Brooklyn, New York. And we would go to lunch every now and then. And he, I remember he came, to, we, we met for lunch and he had a sketchbook with him. And he was real excited about this new character he created. And he goes, Mark, I created this new character. It's gonna be the greatest thing. I'm so proud of this. And I was, well, let me, you know, I said, let me look at it. What's, it, what's he called? And he said, he's called Hellboy. And he had this really rough drawing of Hellboy, the very first drawing. And I'm embarrassed to say, I looked at him and I said, Mike, that's the dumbest idea I've ever heard in my life. I, it's just so stupid. It's never gonna, well, it shows you how wrong I was because it's a great character. And Mike's, Mike's run on that character has been comic book history. So long story short, he asked me to, after I insulted him, he asked me to be the colorist of, of Hellboy. And I loved it. I really loved it because I, I really like simple artwork. I like very graphic drawing. Um, uh, and Mike, Mike draws that way. I like coloring that way. He draws that way. So it was a really fun match. It was really great to do. Mark, dal tuo cognome si evince chiaramente che hai chiare origini italiane. Qual è il tuo rapporto con il nostro paese, Chiarello? My, par my parents are both uh, Sicilian. Sicilian. L like me, I am Salito. from from Palermo. Okay, my my parents. Uh, Uh, their family, they were first generation American. Uh, and uh, I grew up in New York and New Jersey uh, in Italian neighborhoods. And, um, uh, I, you know, I am really, really embarrassed to say I've never been to Italy. Um, I know I keep meaning to come. Uh, I was in, I, I, when I was the art director at DC, they would invite me to Luca, the comic Luca. convention, the great com and I've always wanted to go and for some reason I never got there and I'm very good friends with the American phenomenal artist Lee Bermejo who lives in I think he lives in Reggio um, and he invite every year he invites me to come over and stay at his house so hopefully I will eventually get there Devi andare assolutamente Mark almeno a mangiare la pizza e il gelato veramente italiano per favore importante <laughs> my daughter studied fashion design in um, in florence yeah. so she wants to she wants to take me and show me you know she wants to show me her florence ok perfetto allora mark um, un'altra domanda hai lavorato con delle marche come carart converse puoi parlarci delle differenze di lavoro tra pubblicità e comic e fumetti. Sure. Um, I'll answer that not as the not as the art director or as the editor, but as as an artist, because now I'm a full time. I'm back to being a full time illustrator. Um, it's so much fun when you get uh, uh, a job. Uh, an illustration job for a non-comic book company because people don't realize how difficult drawing comics are is um you know every page you have to draw five or six panels and tell a story whereas if 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 carhartt or converse or uh, you know mondo posters mondo prints or um the criterion movies when they call you you just do one image And you can pour yourself into that without, you're telling a whole story in one image instead of 22 pages. It's, you know, people know it's difficult to draw comics, but until you actually sit down and the artists who are watching this know, until you sit down to draw this stuff, 
man, it's, you have no idea how impossible it is, how hard it is. Puoi parlarci per favore dei tuoi progetti presenti, attuali e futuri, se non sono confidenziali, per favore. Sure, yeah. Um, I think, unfortunately, like many people in the world, because of the COVID uh, uh, pandemic, Um, I've used that as an, as an excuse to be sort of lazy this year and um, do, as, do as little work as I can. But I have a number of projects that um, uh, I I'm, I'm in an odd position because I've lined up, I've scheduled five different projects and I have to pick which one to start first. And I'm sort of nervous about, well, should I do that one first? I just started working on a children's book. I've always wanted to do a children's book, um, you know, for little kids. And um, uh, I, I finally am going to start that uh, probably next, within the next two weeks, I'll begin. But then I'm talking to Marvel Comics. I'm talking to DC Comics. Um, I, had a, I had a project at IDW, which I really wanted to do, but it looks like it's going to fall through, which is disappointing. Um, And then some, I'm, I'm doing covers for Aftershock Comics. Uh, um, there's a lot planned. It, it's, it's sort of a, a, a wealth of too many things, too many things to choose from. So I, I sort of need to be the adult and pick which one I'm going to do. Perfetto, va bene, Mark. Aspettiamo con ansia tantissimo i tuoi lavori. Well, that's, that makes me feel good. I... You know, I, I, I'm not very good at publicity or, or selling myself or talking about myself, um, but I do have an Instagram page that I enjoy putting up my, my drawings on. So that's a nice way for me to stay connected to other artists and fans. That's a nice thing to do. Perfetto, Mark. Allora, intanto ti ringraziamo appunto per la tua gentilezza e disponibilità da parte di Comics Reporter e Fumetto Mania per oggi è tutto grazie per il tuo tempo per questa bella intervista ciao e alla prossima grazie thank you very much for your time and for giving us this opportunity to interview you um, uh, of course the Italian fans will, will uh, really love this interview thank you very much oh it was my, absolutely my pleasure stay safe <laughs>